What's up you guys, it's Steve here and I've got an assortment of stimulus checks to get you caught up on. For those of you that follow me here on the channel, you know there's not just the federal level checks, but also being released state checks, city checks, county checks, and I've got several to get you caught up on that have been approved and will be hitting your bank accounts very soon. This is your breaking news stimulus check update, stimulus package update. Now in addition to that, President Joe Biden, we're hearing, he's trying to get legislation passed through Congress to provide more stimulus provisions despite inflation taking place at this time. If you missed my last video, you might want to check it out. We're hearing if they can't get it through regular means, bipartisan support, he wants to do it through reconciliation. And if they can't do that, we're hearing executive orders and executive actions are likely going to be on the way here very soon. And he's already taking into consideration some here in the coming weeks we're hearing. And take a look, you guys. Biden wants to authorize a huge new stimulus effort, but it's not what you think. And they're talking about executive actions. And take a look, you guys. Gas cards. Deadlines. Last time to apply for a $150 gas card. If you're in this particular city, you can apply for a lottery to get a gas card. Here's another one. $1,400 checks going up to thousands in a county. I'm covering all of the checks for you that you could receive stimulus funds, totally free money from the government and thousands of Chicago residents are going to be applying for a chance to receive $500 for 12 months, monthly reoccurring $500 checks. And also I've got some video footage for you of another approved one. And I'm going to dive in and get you caught up on the latest, all of these just recently coming out and being approved stimulus checks. So let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we do, also wanted to mention, keep an eye out on the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. And if you're somebody interested in learning about growing wealth, personal finance, consider joining that channel as well. I will pin a comment down below. Below. All you got to do is click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications, keep an eye out for more content. Just uploaded a highly requested video on cryptocurrency for those interested in investing. Check that video out. I let you know which cryptos uh, seem very strong, when they're going to be going up, and how high predictions are saying they will be going up. All that content on that channel and keep an eye out for more. But let's dive into the latest stimulus check updates. And before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, if you appreciate the content, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If you think it could help out other people, maybe there's people in these cities or counties that need to know about these stimulus provisions. We're hearing tons of people miss out on money because they don't know it's available to them. Also, if you want to stay up to date, totally free, come join the Ram Fam. I'll let you know everything going on, checks and everything. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me on any of this content, just hop on Instagram, shoot me a DM at SteveRam3 and I'll do my best to get you answers to any questions that you have. And with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in and let's start off with some video footage of a new approved stimulus check. After months of debate at the state capitol, lawmakers finally pushed through bonus checks for frontline workers during the pandemic. The bill has been signed, but today a celebration. Our Pauline Lee is live at the state capitol for the ceremonial bill signing. Hi, Pauline. Hey, good morning, Shayla. Yeah, more than 600,000 workers can soon apply to get a one-time roughly $750 payout from the state. That's for working on the front lines during the pandemic. And the state is hoping to get those checks out in roughly 10 to 12 weeks. That's something new that we learned this morning at the ceremonial signing. Now, this has been a long time coming. This was first introduced last July. And now, nearly a year later, those estimated $750 checks, it's roughly double what it was initially proposed at. Now, these checks will, again, go to the front line workers. That's those people working in health care, child care, food service, public transport, uh, among other fields, frontline workers and local businesses who were here at today's signing ceremony, they say it's a good first step. That equals a month's rent. That equals groceries. That, you know, that equals, that's money that can be put back into their savings accounts. So it, it is important. And I do thank you over and over again for coming together with this. But we still have work to do. Now, the state is aiming to get that online application portal up and running in a few weeks or so. And once that happens, you'll have 45 days to apply. And Shayla, we'll have more information on our website, WCCO.com. 
So there you have it, and congratulations to frontline workers in the state of Minnesota as those have been approved and are going to be available for application here very soon. Now, that is on a state level, and that is because we're waiting to see what's going to be happening on a federal level. And take a look, you guys. President Biden wants to authorize a huge new stimulus effort, but it's not what you think. And he has tried to get things through with legislation and has failed to do so. So we're hearing that executive orders and actions are likely going to be coming here in the upcoming weeks, and they're going to be starting off with student loan forgiveness. As take a look, according to sources with knowledge of the president's thinking, who spoke to Bloomberg, Biden is leaning towards using executive actions to forgive at least $10,000 in student loan debt per borrower. And this is partly because he feels like Congress has left him no choice as they have been unable to pass any legislation, get any of his agenda items done. Build Back Better has stalled. He wanted to get $10 billion of pandemic assistance. We heard about gas stimulus checks, direct payments to people, child tax credits, all of it stalled. Nothing has passed. And he's saying it looks like... He's starting to come around to the idea of executive orders and executive actions as progressives have pushed him to do so as we're coming up on midterm elections. And if they don't get something done, we're hearing it is extremely likely that Democrats are going to lose their power. Republicans will take over likely the House and the Senate. So they have got to get something done. Now, that is on a federal level, and I'll keep you up to date on that. But also, we've got more checks. And take a look at this on a city level. Gas car deadline, last day to apply for $150 gas cards. And it says the city of Chicago, another one in Chicago in the United States, has introduced a program to help citizens cope with the rising costs per gas by helping low-income residents with prepaid gas cards and transit cards. The Chicago Moves program is giving out 50 thousand gas cards for free with these worth $150 each while there will be 100,000 residents who can get prepaid transit cards worth $50. $50. Mayor Lorley Lightfoot was able to get a green light for the scheme at the second time of asking for the Chicago City Council when she was turned down on her first proposal. So this is $12.5 million of a program that will provide transportation relief for many of the city workers. So you guys, link in the description below for more information on these gas cards in the city of Chicago. Now up next, Stimulus, $1,400 checks are going to be going out to thousands. There are thousands of Americans who will have a chance to apply for a stimulus check worth up to $1,400. Applications opened April 25th, so this is currently open. There are few requirements to apply for this program. Residents must have suffered from food or job insecurities or have had missed out on federal stimulus checks last year. And if you're on SNAP programs or receive SSI, you may qualify as well. There are some income requirements as they're listed right here. Again, link in the description below. But you guys, this is for residents in Johnson County, Iowa. They could soon be getting these checks. So again, if you're in Johnson County, Iowa, check out this article in more detail to find out about getting $1,400 stimulus checks. Now also up again, Chicago. Thousands of Chicago residents may apply for a chance to get $500 per month. There's a lot of need. Now, this article, I will link it in the description below if you'd like to read more about it, but for the gist of it, it's pretty much in the title, so I'm just going to read these subtitles for you. Within days of the program's launch, more than 100,000 people have applied for Chicago Resilience Community Pilot that will provide 5,000 people that have been hit hard by the pandemic with $500 monthly benefits for a full year. So if you are interested in getting monthly checks and you're in the city of Chicago, I will link this down below and you can go apply. Already hundreds of thousands have applied. 5,000 lucky people are gonna be able to receive monthly stimulus checks in Chicago. So you guys, that is the latest on stimulus checks coming out right now on state, county, and city levels, many of which are being approved and are gonna be on the way, some of which you have to apply for, and a lot of people we're hearing are missing out on these because they just don't even know it's available. But for the Ram fam here on the channel, I wanna make sure that that is not the case for any of my viewing community, that you all know what's going on and what's available to you, and I will continue to do so here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And if you made it this far and you haven't already and you appreciate the updates, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. And leave your comments. Share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. Hop onto Instagram, shoot me a DM at SteveRam3, and consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. 
to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.